is up you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is Meryl and I make reaction videos so today I got something real cool in the mail <laughs> we're about to unbox this so let's get started okay. I would show how I like cut open boxes but like it's very concerning to like people so <laughs> hold on the box looks like we'll not open <laughs> unboxing video you can ever watch so um i apologize <laughs> um let's see okay we have the box open hold up okay let's take this one you guys can't see that oh my gosh it is the new samsung it's 22 plus. Uh, okay, let's do this. I can't open the box, am I stupid? Okay. Yeah, I'm stupid. There's literally a sticker on the side. Okay. I'm gonna open this right here. I know, don't cut towards yourself, Mary. Don't cut towards yourself. Open it. Open it. Oh, there's a sticker on the other side. Yeah, like, I'm not good at unboxing videos, this is why I make reaction videos instead of unboxing videos. Look at how huge this thing is. Oh my goodness. This is the S22. Look at that. I'll film more of it later, but oh my god. Okay, so the reason why I have the S22 Plus is because my phone actually finally gave out. <laughs> Just in time for the S22 to like happen. Okay, so inside this box. Oh, we have the charger! Oh my gosh, we came in the charger. And obviously this came for like, you know, taking out the SIM card and everything, and putting your SD card in. And oh my god, I can't. <laughs> Alright, I'll film more later. It is the next day. I was able to use my S22 and I absolutely love it. Um so compared to my because I had an S7 right before this. And I'm recording on an S9. Compared to the S7, I like this so much more. Okay, the bottom is gonna open. Oh, also, my lock screen is literally J Hope. <laughs> um, um, so like, I did like take a few photos. Show your palm to take those. So. That's so cool. Okay, no, <laughs> I did not just take a selfie. You, you, that, that's fake. But like, look at the quality. <laughs> Like, you know, you know, it's a trash selfie. Like, that, that was cute. Okay, also, I took this. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. Oh, uh, because of my ring light. Uh. Okay, so I took this photo um, with very minimal light. And the fact that you can literally still see the text. Because I sent this to my um, Pita because she needed it. It's like amazing. And that's just because this phone has the ability to take night night photography photos and I think that's really cool with the camera and then also something I found out so maybe my reaction videos might be a little better <laughs> um I can also film through director view where like it kind of split screens but here I'll show you um hold on so you'd have to go to more and then you go to director's view and don't judge my like background but like see oh <laughs> but yeah you see because like this is would be this down here would be the view that like i would see if i was filming and then obviously my face or like whatever video i'm reacting to would be right here it's it's pretty cool um it's 5g obviously um the only downside is that Literally, when I got the phone, um, give me a second. Literally, when I got the phone, um, there's no like charging block for the phone, and it's a USB C cable to another like USB C. So, like, if you don't have like the adapter, then like, um, a USB to a USB C cable is perfectly fine. 
Um, it, it charges us fine, and also, sorry, that was my Twitter notification. Um, <laughs> also, the difference between, like, all the other Samsungs that I had prior, um, the power button is on the same side as the, um, volume keys, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? <laughs> I'm trying to see what else I could say about the phone. Um, it's just huge. Honestly, this phone is huge. Also, there's J-Hope again. <laughs> um, yeah, no, the- other than that, like, so far, I like it. Um, so far, obviously, because it's a brand new phone. Um, the battery life is amazing. <laughs> um, it's been, like, a bu- it hasn't gone below 50% for me because, you know, I love- I don't like keeping my phone that low, but then sometimes I do let my phone die. So, yeah. Um, that's the S22. Actually, this is the S22 Plus. So, I actually got this phone in green. Originally, I was supposed to get, like, whatever was the cheaper version of the phone because, like I said, I had an S7. I had an S7 since 2016. So, it was about- my phone was bound to just, like, finally brick. And... It just happened- so- it just so happened to brick right before- the day before the S22 was announced. <laughs> so it was just lucky. I obviously with my phone provider and everything, it was, you know, I was able to pay for monthly. Um, I'm not on a monthly plan to like pay this off. It, the retail price on this phone is like a thousand three hundred something. I might fact check it. It might be right here. Um, yeah, so it's actually not very cheap, so. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm honestly in love with it. I mean, like, originally I was kind of scared of it because it was so huge and the fact that I'm used to, like, having a home screen and everything because this was my S7. Um, obviously it doesn't work because it bricked, but yeah, this was my S7. So this is S7 compared to the S22. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, see the significance in size difference? Yeah, and this is a back camera compared. Yeah. Um, with my S7, my photos were pretty grainy, but like with the S22, and also the S92 actually, um, the photos are actually very nice and crisp, but like, you know, using social media apps, I did notice that like, the camera quality was kinda poopy, like especially like for Instagram my Instagram stories like you would see like it's all crisp for like iPhones and stuff but like when you go to like Instagram story with Samsung all of a sudden you know your quality is like trash but yeah no luckily for me <laughs> when I was using an Instagram story when I took like a selfie to tell people that I had a new phone because I hadn't had a phone for two weeks um the quality was much better so, would I recommend getting an S22? Yes. Jeez Louise, not people messaging me right now. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Overall, yes, I would get recommend someone get an S22 if they're interested in getting it. The only thing for me, like personally, like for the messaging app, I like to have a photo in the background. Um, so like, I'm gonna show you an example because like this is a community text from David Dobrik so it doesn't matter what you see in there. So yeah, usually I'd have like a photo in the background. Like in my S7, I had a picture of J-Hope in a dinosaur costume, but like, <laughs> Yeah, and then also the difference between this phone and like, you know how like I was able to show you guys the contact? Um, on S7, you would have the person's name, the contact's name, and the phone number right below it. And like, in a way, it was kind of dangerous, especially if you wanted to share like screenshots of the conversation, especially if you don't want anyone else to see the phone number and everything. But yeah, so like there's also, that's also a plus for the, um, <laughs> for the S22 Plus, or the S22. Um, another downside for me personally, because I like customizing my ringtones, 
ringtones wise it's fine but like i wanted to customize the notification sound like if i wanted it to be yoongi from bts to say annyeong to me that's not happening but similar to all the other samsung's i am able to change the alarm sound so that's pretty cool because literally my alarm to wake up in the morning is <laughs> My alarm to wake up in the morning is literally this. Give me one second, right here. Okay. Wakey, wakey, bright and shine. I don't know if you could hear that. Let me like do that one more time. This is my alarm in the morning. Wakey, wakey, bright and shine. And then for me to get ready for like anything I need to do during the day, it's this. Hi, wake up. Gotta be late. And I think the funny thing is that like for <laughs> for my for, for when my like friend like calls me, it's literally this. Give me a second. Annyeong. <laughs> I am a mess, honestly. <laughs> I shouldn't be like you know what? Samsung gave me the power to do a lot of things. <laughs> like, I don't think I'm responsible enough for that power. So yeah. Um, that's my review and very unsatisfying unboxing of the S22 Plus. Um, you probably didn't like this video and that's okay. <laughs> but if you did, just so happen to like this video, please leave a like, comment, any recommendations you may have. And follow my social medias. I'll be linked in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!